was great. Um, for those of you that don't know my history, uh, one of the inspiration I'm going to put up here is probably a name that everybody knows. Um, when I first came to New York, I started working at Intar um, on a play called uh, Divinas Palabras, which was an adaptation by someone who's very, very dear to Intar, Lorenzo Mance. And I was uh, Max Ferraz's assistant. And <laughs> why is everybody laughing? <laughs> Because we know Max. Well, you know what? Max actually did some great things, and I think that needs to be said, especially here. Um, and one of the greatest things Max ever did in that Max way was yell at me. And he kept on yelling at me because all I ever did was say no. And said, no, we can't do that. We can't do that. We can't do that. And that was one of the things that I still struggle with today. Don't say no. Don't say no. Don't say no. The hardest job of an artistic director, right? That's what we do all day, say no. So what I would like to offer is two things. One from Max, the word no, and hopefully I can get rid of it on this often. <clears throat> and the other thing I'd like to also put out there is something by Eduardo Machado, and I'm sure I'll get a lot of laughs from that as well. Um, Eduardo Machado also taught me a couple of things. One of the things that Eduardo always says, and I think it's a great thing for all of us to hear right now, is we should not fear the audience, they should fear us. And so from Max, no. From Eduardo, fear us. Thank you, Lou. Thank you, Lou. I would next like to invite Tony Garcia. Hi, everybody. Um, so uh, with having Luis here today, it, it's great. I, I just think it's such a great opportunity that, that we have the founder of, for us, the Chicano Theater Movement, all of us. You have, we are all your children, and that's in a good way, Lupe. Uh, <laughs> you don't have to, none of us are coming up and going, hey, guess what? Um, but we are, all, we are all part of that, but we were also spawned by the Chicano Movement, and, and I have two great fathers in, in that movement, uh, in Cesar Chavez and, and Corky Gonzalez. And Corky Gonzalez was from Denver, and when you come to Denver, you find a very active Chicano constituency. We elected a Chicano mayor before LA, no offense, but it's verdad. Uh, and, and we've always had that kind of history. So uh, after Cesar died, Corky was at uh, our, our our performance, and Corky said, you know, Cesar is a martyr for the movement. Although he didn't die physically like a lot, you know, wasn't killed violently like other people, the, the wear and tear on his body from, from the fasting and from the, the stress that's created by being in that position, I believe killed him, right? And Corky had just come in after he had had a heart attack, and when he had a heart attack, it, he, was actually, he actually died but they brought him back to life, and it, during that process, while he was dead, he lost all memory of his participation in the movement. And he would, uh, he would come in, and he would say, I, I love coming here because I remember, I remember things. I don't remember myself being there, but it seemed like they were a part of me. So recently, the production we just finished is uh, Luis Valdez's brother, uh, Daniel, uh, it's a piece called Mestizo. He wrote this gorgeous album, and I was going to play some music from you, but that's just too technologically complicated for me to put that into. The, that would have been a great underscore for this, this piece. But there was a segment in there where we, um, for a song he did uh, called, oh, God, I'm not going to remember the title, but there was an underscore, and there was a, a video montage that was, um, and this was a preface in my words, and this is what I have as a piece of paper. I'm very creative here. Um, remember those who went before us, who gave their lives so we could rise, who fell so we could stand, for Corky and Cesar. Thank you, Tony. And I want to thank everyone um, who's placed items on the altar. Our altar now is complete. It's full of the inspirations of all of us participating. And so a breath, perhaps. Thank you. Nuestro altar. 
and I'm happy to turn it over to Kinan. So we spent the morning here, sorry about that, <laughs> discussing four elements in a type of environmental analysis. Leadership, new work collaboration models, technology-driven communications, and festivals. We are now going to come back into our conocimiento groups to be able to reflect upon the wisdom that was shared here, but also, most importantly, as I said, to add to the record itself. So if there is a festival that you know of that may be two or three people or a small regional local festival, throw that into the record so it becomes part of the collective wisdom. So you will discuss those four elements as well as reflect upon the proceedings. We are going to do this between now and 12 noon. You will submit, the group leaders know to submit their papers or their materials to Jamie by 12 noon. So the conversation has to be complete. Then at that point, we are going to take a little bit of a lunch break. It means you're gonna go get your food and then return back to your conocimiento groups to continue the conversation around those four areas. But now you are going to start dreaming, dreaming big about the future. What is possible in each of those areas? And now as creative beings, we wanna start imagining that world today before we segue into the actual creation of that world. So those are the two elements of today. 12 o'clock is the cutoff point. Take 15 minutes to go to lunch. Come back into your conocimiento groups until 1240, have lunch, but dream together. And then we're gonna come back into this space starting at 1240 so we can begin our next conversation with all the satellite participants that are aligning in their respective cities right now. That's part of the reason why this is set up this way, so that we will be able to engage with them through the screens. And you had a quick question? Okay, so can we have the group leaders stand up? Today's conocimiento groups are by years in the field. And so those of you who have...